The last area we get to is, is the classroom section. Um, we, we've built this part of the model to, to resemble what might go on in a classroom environment. It could be translated into, say, an office area environment. But what you, you know, like I said, what we kind of pointed at was the classroom in here and, and thing that's kind of the theme of it. To give you an idea of, there's a lot going on in here, and to give you an idea of some of the equipment, I'll just start right here. You may or may not be able to see there's a button that we've had located it right at the door that you can push the button and lock, lock the door immediately. Um, we also have a armature on the door. The purpose of that is to, as to hold the door open. What we've done here is we've eliminated people putting a chair in the door or stuffing a book in the door and then in an emergency situation you've got a, a, a problem there getting the door closed. Um, some other things, we do have indicator lights above the door. You'll see those function a little later that let us know the status of the door, whether it's locked or unlocked or are we in lockdown. I'll point out that these indicator lights that we've used are, could, could grow up to be full-blown signs that might say lockdown in progress. Uh, we can turn that on just as well as we can turn on an LED light. For the purposes of the demo unit, we, we just put something here that was small that we could handle. Um, we also have camera um, in the classroom. In, in this case, this camera, we kind of envision it to watch the lockdown device, wherever the lockdown device might be. For say, if you lift that cover, we have a switch in there that will trigger the camera to cut on. So if there's people want to do vandalism, if they just want to put the system in lockdown because they think it's funny, we'll have that on film. Um, so, it, plus there's an emergency sounder built in there that will kind of, when you open it up, makes sound. So we, we've added a few features in it to try to tear vandalism. Here, we, this piece of glass you see, um, you can read Biology 101 through there. W what that is, it's, it's a piece of switchable glass. So when I say that, when we energize it, it'll turn opaque so you can't see through it. Um, what we do is we take that glass and we put it in a light kit in the door so when when the system goes into lockdown when you walk down the hall the doors will shut lock the the glass will go opaque and you can't see in the room so if if there's a person with a gun or something in the hall they really don't know if there's people in the room or not so that's the purpose of that <clears throat> this unit down here we call it the room door control this is the local control for, say, a professor. If this was his classroom environment, and, and since we're functioning electrically he na now, he can lock and unlock the door at his leisure, and he can control it, always remembering that central command, which may be kind of represented by the computer over here, where you see this is a graphical shot of a map, and you can control everything in the entire system, regardless of how big it is right from that map. That will always trump the local control. If he's got the door open and locked and you need to put it into lockdown from central command you can override whatever he's doing locally but this makes the system functional um, and just to give you an idea when you lock the door nobody has to touch anything door shut lock automatically and that's kind of um, the nuts and bolts of the way this part works now i'm going to bring on matt um, a partner and matt's done a lot of the programming here he's going to walk you through and show you a lot of the how the individual equipment really works when, when it's activated and get a little more in detail in the next segment.